Hi everyone. I want to give everyone some encouragement right now. And I was led to read Revelation chapter 22. Because I want everyone to just try not to worry too much and, and try to know that all, although we're in a sense of urgency, we all know what's about to happen. It's going to be good and bad, and we know that. Good for um, if you're saved and you know Jesus as your Savior, that's good. But if you don't, it's not good. And although you'll still have a chance, you don't know. So, I, I don't want to dwell too much on the judgment that is coming. I just want to give you some encouragement, though, about what what we're we're about to um, encounter. We're about to see the Lord face to face. <clears throat> but Revelation chapter twenty two, the source of life. Then he showed me the river of the water of life, clear as crystal, flowing from the throne of God and of the Lamb down the middle of the city's main street. Now try to visualize that. This, this crystal clear water of life from the throne of God down the middle of the city's main street. The tree of life was on each side of the river, bearing 12 kinds of fruit, producing its fruit every month. The leaves of the tree are for healing the nations. There will be no longer any curse. And the throne of God and of the Lamb will be in the city, and his servants will worship him. They will see his face and his name will be on their foreheads. We will have his name on our foreheads. And you know, we all will have a new name, okay? Um, let's see. Night will be no more and people will not need the light of a lamp or the light of the sun because the Lord God will give them light and they will reign forever and ever. So he is our light up there. You won't have to turn on a light when you're in your mansion. You won't have to turn off a light because there'll be no night. Then he said to me, these words are faithful and true. The, the Lord, the God of the spirits of the prophets has sent his angel to show his servants what must soon take place. Look, I am coming soon. Blessed is the one who keeps the word of the prophet, of the prophecy of this book. I, John, and the one who heard and saw these things, when I heard and saw them, I fell down to worship at the feet of the angel who had shown them to me. But he said to me, don't do that. I am a fellow servant with you, your brothers, the prophets, and those who keep the words of this book. Worship God. Then he said to me, don't seal up the words of the prophecy of this book because the time is near that the unrighteous go into unrighteousness let the filthy still be filthy let the righteous go on in righteousness and let the holy still be holy look i am coming soon and my reward is with me to repay each person according to his work I am the Alpha and the Omega, the first and the last, the beginning and the end. And blessed are those who wash their robes so they, that they may have the right to the tree of life and may enter the city by the gates. 
because outside of the dogs, the sorcerers, the sexual immoral, the murderers, the idolaters, and everyone who loves and practices falsehood. Now, when he says, blessed are those who wash their robes, you know, he's the one that washes our robes. When, when we receive Jesus as our Savior and we believe the gospel, which is in 1 Corinthians 15, 1 through 4, the gospel is that he died on the cross for our sins and then he was buried for three days and then he rose again and he's alive. If we believe that, and we believe that and we sincerely take him for his word and believe in our heart, then we are saved. It's, it's so simple. I, Jesus, have sent my angel to attest these things to you for the churches. I am the roof and descendant of David, the bright morning star. Both the spirit and the bride say, come. Let anyone who hears say, come. Let the one who is thirsty come. Let the one who desires take the water of, his, of life freely. I testify to everyone who hears the words of the prophecy of this book. If anyone adds to them, God will add to him. Hold on here. I know it. But <laughs> the plagues that are written in this book. And if anyone takes away from the words of the book of this prophecy, God will take away his share of the tree of life and the holy city, which are written about in this book. So he who testifies about these things say, yes, I am coming soon. Amen. Come, Lord Jesus. The grace of the Lord Jesus be with everyone. Amen. That's very serious, you know. If anyone adds or takes away. Boy, I mean... How many, uh, how many churches and pastors and they just don't care about the book of Revelation. They are prospering by their own flesh and they do not warn people that Jesus is coming. Can you imagine if every church in the nation right now would would read the book of Revelation and actually start warning and really know where we are in time? <laughs> Can you imagine? So many more people would be saved, you know. But we know. We know that there's a reason for it. But just remember, you, you can't work for your salvation and you are saved and sealed until the day of redemption. That means till the very day of the rapture, till we meet him face to face. That's when we are fully, fully known. Right now we see through a glass um, dimly and soon we will see in full and that's when we are totally full i mean our our body our mind and soul are are totally completely transformed <laughs> where we will have no more bad thoughts no more bad diseases no no more arguments It'll just be completely, like I kind of think about it, you know, a lot like we just, we won't be able to sin anymore. We, our mind will be like straight on vision, you know, we can't, we can't look back. We can't look to the side. 
we just look full on to Jesus and our mind will be full on without any interruptions. I, I can't wait. It's going to be so beautiful. I, I mean, sometimes I think, I'm trying to think, how is that possible? <laughs> but I know it's going to happen, you know. Um, I kind of think of like when you're a small child, if you can remember like trying to when when you're set when you're such a a small child you have that you know you're still born into sin but you you have that innocence about you and you kind of you know you don't know everything yet and you think you know you think like a child that's like the lord says to come like you know be like a child and it doesn't mean that we have to go back and be a child. Like literally, it, it just means, you know, how they, how they see things and they believe things, you know, and it's easy for them to like to hear the gospel, but it's so easy for them to just believe it, you know, if they, if they want to, which most children they they will listen and they will believe something because of the spirit that is shown to them cuz cuz god you know when i was a child i was always looking for god you know i was always talking and stuff but i didn't really know that I was to believe in Jesus alone. I mean, as my savior and being a sinner and all that. Not until I was, I, I think I was 12. Um, I think I was around 12 or 13 when I, I was saved. And I was saved by grace, his grace through faith. I was say I I was I knew the gospel at that the minute I was saved. They 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 prayed and they asked me, they told me the gospel, they asked me everything. They told me now the angels rejoicing, you have a place at the dinner table, you will never lose your salvation they they i knew everything correctly and so when i let's see i was mm, probably when a year after i started my youtube channel which was quite a few years ago i um i started seeing all this stuff about works and work salvation and losing your salvation I thought what is this mess <laughs> you know I mean it, it, it is truly um, something that you know the enemy is definitely playing around with people's minds and telling them a lie twisting scriptures and not fully understanding and dividing so it's very important that you realize that you have no place in your salvation. You did nothing. You did nothing. He did it all. You, you did nothing to keep it. You did nothing to get it. You believed. And he did the rest. I mean, he, he did it all. He chose you and he gave you that the, the faith at that minute he he gave it to you so you would believe so it's all about jesus you know we don't because if you believe that you can lose your salvation then you're just actually trying to keep it see if you believe you can lose it what you're really saying is i have to try to keep it 
I have to try to do this and be good and don't do this and just I have to keep it. So you're doing something in the flesh, which your flesh is filthy rags. So if you're, you know, if you're doing that, then you have to realize that it's, you cannot get anywhere. You have to give it all to him. And then he, so, so you can understand, so he can show you. Because otherwise, you know, your salvation could be in jeopardy because if you don't, if you don't believe the true gospel and what Jesus said, then you're believing a lie. There's so many lies out there. So it's, it's very important that people understand this because it's really, it's, it's really crazy right now on YouTube. A lot of people have really surprised us lately. Um, but we'll just keep praying for them because we, we're running out of time. We really are. But what we have waiting are streets of gold and the river of life. The river of life. And you will never, I mean, you you will never be sick again or sad again. You will be able to run and run and run and eat and eat and eat. <laughs> and you won't have to worry. I, I can't even imagine, okay? <laughs> I, I really, I just, I can't imagine what is waiting there it's just it, it blows your mind to think about it but yeah those videos they're so good by the mighty oracle that's the channel um watch woman 65 she introduced that channel to us and it was it's just amazing they had the the feast the the table the 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 wedding feast the dinner that you are invited to <laughs> as soon as we go up there you know probably going to get our rewards and sit down at the table I, I can't imagine just eating everything that you wanted to eat and you won't have to worry about it and you don't have to worry about getting full that just blows my mind <laughs> because I have such issues with with eating and I <laughs> just I, 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 I can't imagine but you know what let's feast on his word until we get there try to get as many people as you can <sighs> um it go, you know, just a lot of people, it's just going in like deaf ears, you know, like it's, they're hearing it and then they're just letting it go by. So just pray that they will, they will wake up and realize that this is a death or life situation. Because when that trumpet blows and when we go, there's going to be disaster everywhere. And a lot of people that think they don't, that they can just wait, they might not even survive to be a tribulation saint. So let's just keep praying and just know what, what you have waiting for you. The most beautiful place in the world, out of the world, <laughs> the most beautiful place you've ever seen waiting for you. And Jesus is the light. He is the light in heaven. And we are supposed to be the light in the world. It's kind of awesome how that is, you know. He is the light in heaven. He will... We, it just blows me away. I just... 
I'm trying to picture just everything. Okay, so let's let's get everything done as much as we can and it's getting exciting because the whole community that we have on YouTube is coming together like never before <laughs> you know and all the signs are there we already know that um, just unbelievable <laughs> And I just thank God he has showed me so many things. Um, I haven't, I can't be thankful enough. And I haven't been thankful enough. Um, <laughs> and if he's showing you things, be thankful. <laughs> be thankful you're awake and he's actually giving you dreams, visions words <sighs> just thank you Jesus for everything so I got I will see you guys either here but I think this time <laughs> we're just gonna see each other in the air now all right good night